In this section, I'm going to show you how you can use Eve in G as a network simulator for your practices. So we have had GNS3 for a long time. Other than that, we have had a lot of other uh, uh, network simulators, such as uh, Packet Tracer from Cisco. That is, of course, very basic, but that was good. Both on NetSim that is paid, and that's okay for CCMP level. And GNS3, GNS3 has been okay for all levels, but with very, very minor limitations, such as switching at uh, Zeladel, you know, awkward in GNS3 and it doesn't work so good. That's because of the hardware limitations that uh, GNS3 can emulate. And also we had Unit Lab, we had um, a lot of other stuff, a lot of other stuff uh, that are out there. You can go and try them and work with them. Also, you can, uh, if, if you can afford, you can buy real gear and work with them at home. Or if you are lucky enough to work in an environment that has a test lab uh, for you with a lot of stuff, such as, you know, different devices, you are the lucky person. You can work with them. But um, I'm not the lucky person. Unfortunately, I have to work with uh, simulators. And GNS3B has been my friend for a long time. And you can see in all my courses, I have used GNS3 extensively. But uh, after that, Unit Lab was a good one. And I have come across EVNG. And I have received a lot of nice feedbacks about this uh, platform. What I'm going to do is to try it myself. I'm going to show you how you can import uh, the appliance that I have downloaded for uh, EVNG into VMware Workstation. And uh, VMware Workstation is not such a big and, you know, uh, so expensive uh, product. You can buy it for a minimal amount of money. And also, uh, there is VirtualBox, but I tried VirtualBox, although it is free, but it doesn't have so many features that we can have in VMware Workstations. And also, I tried to import this into VirtualBox, and it didn't work. VirtualBox, by the way, is from Oracle, and it's a free platform. It is very nice, and it has a lot of capabilities that you can find in a very professional uh, virtualization platform, such as VMware or Hyperbry. But uh, it didn't just work with this appliance that I have downloaded from EVNG uh, website. Uh, also, I should notice that... Um, EVNG is uh, for free, so you don't have to pay for that. That's a, uh, you know, kind of a blessing that we have right now. We can work with that. Okay, what I'm going to do is to import this into my uh, VMware Workstation platform. So let me first resize this so that I have it in my capture area. And I need to go to File and Open. And uh, from here, you can see that OVA is one of the formats that can be imported into VMware, and this is what we are going to do. So I have virtual machines here. Uh, you can see that I have used Unit Lab previously. That's again uh, a VMX virtual machine. That means uh, that's a virtual machine that can be imported into VMware Workstation. But let's go to uh, EVNG. Here I have the appliance. I click on that. And it says where I want to import it. What I'm going to do is to, again, browse to the same directory. You can use another directory to save this in, but I prefer to have this in the same directory here. So I click on this. And it says the name of this. I'm going to change it to Eve NG. And click on import. And after some time, it is going to be imported into VMware Workstation based on the amount, uh, you know, the size of the uh, installation is going to take some time. All right, now you can see that I have downloaded this uh, as a virtual machine. You can download the installation for Linux environment. I'm not so, uh, you know, professional in Linux and I don't want to go through all the, you know, problems that uh, most of the novice people like me experience in Linux environment. So I just uh, use a uh, the, the appliance that I have downloaded as a virtual machine and I can just install it on VMware Workstation. So it's going to take some time for me. I need to wait for that and after importing I can start this. Um, I need to pause so that you don't feel the time go
Now import is finished. I'm going to change some uh, settings in my uh, AVNG machine. Uh, first of all, you can see that I have a 6 gigabyte of memory. This is the default that the machine asks. And that's okay for me because I have 8 gigabytes of RAM on my system. But if you have more than that, you can allocate more memory to the virtual machine that's going to uh, boost your performance dramatically because RAM is always performance and you know that. And also processor, it is uh, climbing all the processors in your system. That's okay for me again. And uh, VMware is smart enough to use the processor and share it between the host and the guest system very efficiently. So I don't have any worries about that. And um, let me resize this here. You saw just part of the window of the machine that I like it, just like it. And then that's just dreaming and the dreaming is okay um, uh, unless you don't work for that okay it says about 30 gigabytes of RAM that's uh, 30 gigabytes of hard disk and that's okay again and uh, a network type I'm going to click on that and by clicking on that the setting is going to open I'm going to change it to NAT NAT is quite okay because I don't want to have bridge network and click on OK and uh, you can change the monitor and other stuff but that's good also you can see there is an upgrade this virtual machine option here i will go for that that's not going to take so long it says uh, the hardware compatibility is right now workstation 10 my workstation is 11 and you can even go for higher versions of virtual machine uh, but i'm okay with that and it says create a new colon and I'm not going to, uh, you know, uh, clone it. So what I'm going to do is uh, change the hardware configuration of this machine. Some hardware cam capability is going to... That's okay, let's click on next. And it says uh, there's going to be a clone of that. No, I'm not going to clone it. Let's do this. Just, uh, you know, uh, change it in place and done. Okay, let's start it. I'm going to click on power on this virtual machine. The first time that the machine starts, you need to have some tuning on your system. So let's wait for that and see what is going on. The first time that you start this, it's going to take uh, some time and um, that's okay. But the next time it's going to boot faster. So Eve is starting. I go here and type root and the password is going to be eve and now you can see that it says i am uh, going through some installation options and you need to type a password for the root i'm going to type a uh, password and i'm going to type just eve on that okay so just type Eve and click on OK and it says repeat it. You can see that by typing here I don't see anything but that's okay and, and it says uh, what is the short name of this system? Eve NG. That's okay for me. I click on OK or hit OK and it says uh, what is the domain name for that? Example.com. That's okay again and it says do you want to use DHCP or do you want to use static IP address? DHCP is like if for this and um, this is just for connecting to the machine so I really don't need to you know go for the static IP address because I just assigned a NAT adapter to this machine so I hit enter again and it says type the host name IP address of NTP for initial clock sync now uh, this is going to be an issue so I just press control and alt on my system so that I can grab the mouse and if I go here, I'm going to show you something. Go to Edit and here, Virtual Network Editors. And it is going to open Virtual Network Editors for you and click on NAT. Now you can see that there is a DHCP setting here and there is a NAT setting here. If I click on NAT, it is going to say that Gateway IP address is 192.168.232.2. But uh, this last digit is so important for me because I can change all of these and that's okay but this last digit you can see that it is 2 not 1 most of the uh, most of the administrators or most of you experts uh, assume that gateway IP address is going to be 1 and you just type in 1 uh, let's uh, type just um, 1 2 I'm going to change it 
like this. I click on OK. And so the gateway IP address is invalid enter an IP address in the subnet range. So what is the subnet range? 192.168.12. That's in the subnet range. Oh, so, so subnet is changed. So let's cancel this out and here change it to 1 and click on apply. And it's going to take some time. And if I go to net setting after the apply, you can see that it changes to this. So this is the gateway address. 192.168.12 for me. So I click on here. And type 192, 168, and that's need to be like that. 192. It doesn't show anything. I don't know why. So just type in 192, 168, 12, and hit enter. And it says, uh, choose how the VM can connect to the internet. That's direct connection. That's okay because um, I'm going to download some. Uh, upgrades and updates for this virtual machine later, so their connection is okay. So it says uh, it cannot find some files, and this is going to take some time and do some stuff. And after that, it's going to restart and go to the actual, uh, you know, Eve um, software. So let's wait for the uh, start. I'm going to grab the mouse and. Wait for the reboot process, and when it's done, it's going to give me some IP address that I'm going to uh, connect to that virtual machine using that address. Okay, once again, root eve, and the initial installation is done. It says, uh, we have everything here, and everything is just fine. Uh, so make sure that I have an IP address here. That's it. 192.168.1.128. This is the IP address that I'm going to connect to the machine using that. And I can ping some uh, addresses to make sure that everything is uh, connected and I can use it. So for example, if I type 192.168.1.1 and I'm not sure why I don't see anything here. One one this is a host machine and the gateway is one two and it says right now i cannot reach it like that let me see if i press ctrl c and hit two yes that's it i can connect to the actual machine using uh this ip address okay so let's uh, open a browser google chrome for example is okay for me let's Put this here and I'm going to resize it for my capture area like that. And this is 192.168.1.128. This is the address that I have on my virtual machine, right? That's it here. Let me highlight it. Okay. And this is it. So I hit enter. And here it goes. This is the first start of our um, installation. What's the username? Admin. What's the password? I typed Eve there. And I can have native console, I can have HTML5 console, you can choose whichever you wish and click on sign in. And it loads and I'm not going to save the password. Here you are. This is the Eve. You can go for management, you can go for system and check different things here. You can have everything here and also you have the admin here. You can add folders and create different labs. Happy labbing!